Okay. How you guys doing? Um, so Joe and I are out walking around today. It's a nice spring day. It's like 70 or 63, 64 degrees out. Something like that. It's really nice. And we found some skunk cabbage. Now, skunk cabbage is really cool because in the winter, okay, just, you know, before uh, spring actually hits, pretty much before any of the other plants, this plant has the ability to raise its own temperature, like in the root, um, to basically melt some of the snow and stuff on top of it so it can get an early start. You know, it goes up to like 70 degrees. It'll be a certain amount of degree warmer than the ambient temperature around it, which is pretty amazing stuff. And we we're checking it out. You can actually feel um, the fact that it's warmer inside this thing. There's actually some, some heat coming off this. Now I know it's darker and it's sticking up so it's absorbing some of the heat from the sun, but still, you know, you could definitely tell that there's some heat going on here. Now, another cool thing about this plant is bears will eat this after they come out of hibernation because it's basically a laxative, okay? And when bears hibernate, they form this plug inside them <laughs> and uh, so that they don't basically go to the bathroom while they're sleeping. But then they need some form of laxative when they come out so that they can, you know, get their system flowing again. So they'll eat this, and next thing you know, they're cleaning their bowels out. So that's pretty neat. Another thing, Native Americans sometimes would take this plant when their village was about to be raided. You know, if they had to abandon their village, and they'd break a bunch of this stuff up into their stew, okay? Because when it's a little older, the calcium oxalate crystals get pretty intense in this thing. And so they put it in their stew, and then the people who would take the village would eat their stew, and then they'd be doubled over in pains in their bowel and everything, and run into the bathroom, and then the Native Americans would come back and take their village back. So that's also pretty neat. Now I've, I've eaten some of this plant before, me and several friends. Well, it was young, but it wasn't quite young enough. So we tasted it, it was nice and sweet, okay? And a couple minutes later, it felt like we had like little bits of broken glass and stuff in our mouths. So those were the calcium oxalate crystals. We waited too long before we ate it. If it was younger, we wouldn't have really had that problem. Um, and Joe was telling me that you could smell the root to this plant to help with headaches. That's pretty amazing. So I really like this plant. It's a really cool plant and it got its name skunk cabbage because it smells like a skunk when you rip the leaves, when the leaves are nice and big. If you tear a leaf, it smells like a skunk. So I'm not entirely sure why it does that. Probably to keep animals from eating it, you know, once it's older. So just amazing stuff. Skunk cabbage, these are the flowers. They start really early. Later on, we'll have those great big leaves. So it's kind of neat. It almost starts off with the flower first and then produces leaves later on. So there we go. Skunk cabbage, which I think is in the arum family. You know, like Jack in the Pulpit and stuff like that. Cool stuff.